Welcome back to iAsTech. In this video, I am going to show you how to upload your files or images on the file stack with the help of Node.js and Express.js. I am going to do this from scratch step by step so it would be very straightforward and convenient for you. So first of all, you have to open this website filestack.com and you have to create your account. If you already have your account, then you can just click on the login button and sign in. I already have an account. So this is the dashboard that you will see after signing in. So after you create your account, uh, you should see your application token ID API key on the top right side. You can copy that uh, key from there. Uh, if you don't have any app then you can create a new app and you can also create you can also create multiple apps if you want so in the free version uh, you can create only one app uh, but with the paid you can create more apps right now I'm using the free version so I already have this app that I will be using in this video so First of all, uh, open the VS code and let's initialize a project from scratch. Open the terminal and type npm init and press enter several times to use the default options. And with that, you will see the package.json file has been created. Now we need to install few libraries in the Node.js. So, for example, we need npm install express and then we need uh, node fetch and also we need, uh, let me check, it is express file uploader in npm. So, this is the library that we will be using to upload files to the express.js easily uh, so just copy this command and paste it here actually not the entire command we just need the name of the library and press enter and here type the save to save these dependencies in your package.json file after your dependencies uh, are installed, you will notice that these items have been added in the dependencies section in the package.json file. After that, uh, we need to create a new file that would be index.js. So first of all, we need to uh, require the express. So let express is equal to require express and we are going to start a server so first of all we need to create the app after that we need to add app.listen and here you need to pass the port where you want to listen and this is the callback function we can show anything here in console after server is running on the 3200 port okay uh, now I'm going to create a very basic uh, endpoint on the get method for that type app.get slash and here we are expecting two parameters request and response now response dot send should be anything okay now let's test it for that i'm going to uh, run this index.js file for that type node space index.js and you will notice that it is running now and the endpoint is also working. So that's mean our basic Node.js application is currently running and ready to be used. Now 
I am going to create another endpoint that would be app dot post and here I would say I need an endpoint upload request response and then uh, here we will write our application logic so user will be uploading the files our file on this endpoint and we will take that file and then we will uh, upload the content of that file to the file stack with the help of the file stack API okay so first of all before doing anything we have to require another library that would be a express uploader require express file uploader okay and copy the name of uh, so this so we have to uh, pass this function in the uh, first middleware of the express app so here I would say app dot use uh, and here I would call this function that I just uh, imported from this library so after you have added this middleware you will be able to access uh, and use the uploaded files very easily so to test that let's uh, send some response first and here I'm going to uh, console log uh, request dot files okay so now as we have to test it for that I'm going to stop the server and I will run it again okay now I'm going to open the postman so that I could test this endpoint from there so let's op type postman if you already have installed it you can open it otherwise you have to download the postman and install it so I'm assuming that you already have the postman so let's use it so as we know that uh, this is the base URL of our application so I am going to copy that and paste it here and type the path of the endpoint that we want to hit the endpoint that we want to hit is upload and also make sure that you are using the post method because we are expecting the post method here so after that is done uh, click on the body click on the form data and from here click on that drop down and select the file option so that you could select the file here you can provide the any name that you want to pass so I am just saying image you can write any name it does not matter at all now here you have to select the files for that I'm going to download a picture from the internet okay let's download any picture randomly uh, let's do this one save image <sighs> okay so I have downloaded the image now I am going back to the postman and click on the select files button and pick the file that you just have downloaded so I guess this is the picture okay select it now as soon as you hit the send button you should see the uh, content and every information of the file in the console uh, here you go so you can see that we have uh, a lot of information coming from that file and uh, this was easily possible only because of this library so you can see that it is now giving me the file inside uh, uh, this object image object and in this subject we have uh, several uh, information like you have the file name you have the data you have the size uh, you, you can use this information in your application if you need it, need them so now it's time to open the file stack API and we will see how we can uh, use that API to upload this file to their uh, hosting so 
open the file stack and let's open the documentation and I'm going to search uploading so this is the documentation about uploading the file so in this example you can see that this is the sample request so we are going to follow uh, almost same thing so this is using curl but we would be using the uh, node.js here so before doing anything else we have to import another library that is node fetch so for that type let fetch is equal to require node fetch and also uh, yeah let's try it so here uh, press enter and we have to hit this URL from uh, with the help of the fetch type fetch and here uh, paste copy this URL and paste it there it should be exactly same except the API key we are going to provide the correct API key from our own account from here so just copy this API key and paste it here so this is not the best practice you should be uh, providing the api keys with the help of the dot env file but uh, as this is a very simple uh, video so i'm just going to hard code this api key here so all right after that i am going to provide another parameter so here I need to uh, provide the method post. I, uh, how do I know about the method? It is uh, uh, clearly written here. You can see that it is expecting the post method. So let's type that. And after that, I also need to provide the header. Uh, I also want to open the documentation so that we could uh, follow the exact same method that is in the documentation to avoid any mistake so by the way the version that we installed uh, it only supports this kind of import but we are not doing this import we are using the require so in order to use the require uh, function you have to use a specific version so for that i'm going to uninstall the node fetch and i will install it again with a specific version for that type npm uninstall node fetch save and after that i will install it again npm install node fetch at 2 okay and save it again so this is the quick change that you have to make after that is done let's uh, look at the examples again and if you scroll down you will see that we are doing the same method method post and then you have to provide the body and we also need to provide the header i'm going to copy this and paste it here and instead of application slash json json i will use the same type that is provided here copy that type because i know that this is an image so i just copied the same mime type or content type so after that we need the body parameter and in the body we have to pass the content of the file and if you open the terminal again and scroll up you will see the structure and you can see that inside the files we have a property so let's use it uh, request dot body actually not this uh, request dot files dot image so image is the actually uh, the name of the file that you just uploaded from here remember we added the image in the key uh, so you if you use a different name then obviously that name would be visible here 
for example if you use xyz here then xyz would be here and you have to type xyz in that case so we have you use the image so use the image property then type dot data okay after that is done uh, let's type dot then or dot json and then type then again then console the response okay and not only console i am also going to send it send the response back to the uh, postman so instead of sending the uh, done i will send the json and pass the r that is actually the response so now it's time to test it so for that go back to the postman and click on the send button and wait uh, it did not work because we did not restart the server so I have to stop it and run it again there are other methods to automatically restart the server uh, if you use the node mon then it will automatically restart the server for you but uh, in this example we are not using that so just run it again manually so now let's test it again click on the send button and wait for some time if everything was correct then you should see this kind of response this means that everything was correct and you have successfully uploaded the, the file on the file stack website and here you can see the few information like url uh, size type and file name now if you want to make sure that if this is the file just click on that and you will notice that file will be the image will be visible so this is how you can very easily upload your images with the help of node.js and express.js to the file stack api i hope that this video was very helpful for you so if you want to learn more about file stack then uh, please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and open the file stack playlist you will find more useful videos uh, on the file stack thank you for watching see you next time bye